Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mings, and I welcome you guys back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Justice and Pride. It's time to jump into Chapter 2. Apparently, it's two days later. Hmm. Wait, is that Anna and Jake? So, in exchange for your service, you'd like some amount of battle rewards, correct? That's right! After all, we need to make profit, too. I think we can make this work. Congratulations, you're hired. Thank you, princess. Oh, I forgot to introduce us. How silly of me. I am Anna, and my husband over there is Jake. Nice to meet you, milady. I help manage a chain of merchants that operate worldwide, including places you've never heard of. I'm sure our performances will be satisfactory, right, Jake? Right, honey. I need to stock up real fast, so wait up on me. Oh, uh, we're not the only ones stocking up on food during the coronavirus. Jake is like, yeah, gotta go stock up on toilet paper, BRB. <laughs> oh, who's this? Hmm? What's going on, boss? Oh, right, Lady Adrian, this is our personal bodyguard, Teddy. I reckon he'll contribute much to our cause. He's quite an effective fighter. We paid him his whole fare before coming here. So don't you worry about that, okay? We need all the capable men we can get. Welcome aboard, Teddy. It's my honor, milady. Okay, are we gonna fight more bandits now? All right, boys, let them have it. Looks like the assault has started. We can't dawdle then. Everyone prepare to meet the enemy. Milady, allow me to charge in for you. With this mount, I can rush in and take the front lines. Good idea, Jake. Just don't get hurt, okay? No problem, Mila No problem, milady. Okay. Miss, would you happen to be Arborn military? Yes, I am. What's going on out there? That's Vanessa, I'm pretty sure. Like a Vanessa splice. I'm sure you've already seen the bandits. I was on a ride when the bandits showed up. We don't have the strength to take them on. You came to the right people, Miss, uh, Penny. And you? I'm Adrian, Princess of Aubrain. Ah, forgive my informality, my lady. It's alright, Penny. I'm not one for formalities myself. To be frank, I should get my allies to stop using that title. Wow, a lord who doesn't like titles. Original. Thank you, Adrian. I've had some training in the healing arts. Allow me to pay your generosity back. Welcome to the group, Penny. I'm sure your talents will find a lot of use with us. Thank you so much, Adrian. I promise you won't regret it. Regret it. It's hard to talk today. Damn coronavirus. Uh, Auburn soldiers? Damn. Alright, men, pick up the pace. We don't want them soldiers to boot us out of here. Lady Adrian, may I advise taking time to prepare for battle? Oh, right. We're getting battle preps now? We can't risk going in if we're not ready for combat. Good point, Donovan. Let's move out, men. Treehouse is battle prep music. Nice. Okay, here we are, chapter 3. It's a little bigger than the last one, but uh, still not super big, which I like. Boss is Marcus. Oh no, we're all fucked. One of the Bandit King's more trusted minions. And he has the spoil. Oh no, don't create dread gems when you kill my units. And here we have a uh, store that sells fire, lightning, and heal tomes. And uh, swords, lances, and axes in this armory right here. Okay. So wait, is Anna our merchant then? I would assume so, yeah? Yeah, we have a we have access to a supply now, so that's great. We also have an armory, but it's an expensive armory, so we'd rather not use it. Let's take a look at some of our new units, shall we? We got Jake the Cavalier. Oh, wait. Oh, he has the spoil, too. Nice. Okay, what's this luck like? Pretty good. 60%. So if you get a kill with Jake, he'll create red gems for you. That's pretty good, honestly. I seem to recall there being a weird bug with the spoil, and the, when we used it in the PME, it didn't, like, activate properly or something. Maybe it's better now? D-rank sword and lances, that's pretty good. And then we got Teddy. An easygoing mercenary hired to protect Anna and Jake. He's a fighter. And his personal skill is Poussons. Okay, so he does, does extra damage when he has more strength. Growth's pretty balanced in all areas, except for Ress, as you might expect. 12 con is pretty good. And then we got Penny, a troubadour from Aubrain, an aspiring story writer. Okay, so she writes she writes fan fiction. Got it. Knight Aspirant, when above 75% health, plus 2 damage and 15 avoid. It's a weird skill to put on a healer, but I assume it'll come in handy once she promotes. Okay. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, check out the battle preps. I think these are honestly just fine. Uh, apparently the supports are in the game, like, they're here, but they're not written yet. That'll come in a later version, just, just for reference. So yeah, let's go. Also, apparently, 
the super train that allows you to do this. Uh, apparently, that is very much an intentional mechanic. So, yeah. I thought that was a bug, but they call it Super Tracia Plus Trading. So, feel free to move over here, trade an item around, and once you're done, you get your turn back. So, you can trade to your heart's content in this hack. And that is honestly a really cool... I don't know if it's broken, probably a little broken. I mean, Tracia trading in and of itself is already pretty good. This is gonna be even better. So, uh, yeah, I say we send in, uh, I wanna send in... I bought Donovan like a Slim Sword. And with that, I don't think he should kill the enemy. So I think it's fairly safe to do this. We can uh, probably go visit the house with our Pegasus Knight. What does this guy have? An Iron Lance, okay. So, uh, what if we uh, go visit the house and then, like, canto into range of that soldier? It sounds, sounds... Oh, wait, wait. Oh, it's a house that can't be visited, apparently. It's just a... It's just a visual house, I guess? Well, that kind of sucks. But, okay. Let's try doing this, and uh, let's open up the tactics room, shall we? Donovan? Are you here? Nope. You got me now, missy. Didn't we kill you? <laughs> this here war room follows its own rules, missy. I can die and still be here. I know that at least. I also know a plan for this fight. Go fast to save them villages. Use horse guys to make that easy. Take advantage of your swords to fight the axe guys. Marcus don't move unless you're close. So don't worry about him till you're ready. There you go, missy. Thanks, I guess. Any help we can get is appreciated. I was just bored. I'll probably stay dead now. Don't think about it. <laughs> This is very similar to the War Room from uh, Days of Ruin. The villains would often show up there and it'd be really funny. Um, but yeah, I, I guess I can use, like, I can try and use my Pegasus for that, I guess. Let's see. Uh, I guess, yeah, that, that village right over there looks like a nice target for my Pegasus to visit, so let's do that. And yeah, with Donovan taking those hits, he should be able to properly weaken them. Mm -mm. Oh, right, I'm holding down a button again. There we go. I don't know, like, I swear to God, my hand was almost not on the keyboard, so I don't really know how that happened, but... No, don't crit! Also, there was a very Fire Emblem 4-esque feeling over that crit, I gotta be honest. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Because if I leave them all on low health, then I can pick them off with my ranged attackers. So, uh, I don't have a javelin yet. I don't think I've had access to a javelin yet, and the shop didn't seem to sell javelins yet, so I'm not sure if I can get my hands on one yet, but it would be nice. Okay. Anyway, uh, I'll need to make a shortcut. Whew, there we go. I am so grateful for the new pause feature in OBS. My dishwasher was beeping, and it was annoying, and I wanted to turn it off. Okay, so we got a mage here. Uh, I guess we don't need to visit the village just yet. I could do this. Uh, honestly, I think that honestly works. Wow, what the hell? He one-shots? That's too good not to do. I mean, I'll take a hit because of reverse mode, but... Wow. I mean, I assume Poussins would proc pretty frequently. Wait, no. Mages have power. There's no strength magic split in here, so Poussins isn't necessarily going to be better unless he has more strength than they have magic, which I assume is most of the time. But still, this guy's really good. Like, three extra damage from Poussins. This is one of the reasons why I really like Effie in, uh, Fates. Because more often than not, she will have more strength than her opponent. Anyway, we'll shoot a lightning bolt at this guy. There we go. And then we just gotta deal with that archer. Or, sorry, the fighter who's blocking the village. I assume it probably would be prudent to heal up Donovan before doing this. Or I could do this. Nah, it'll still be a kill. It doesn't really matter, I think. Anyway, should probably send Donovan over here to deal with- What? Well, that's a small village. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that tiny little village. That's cute. That's actually really cute. I like that a lot. Hmm. Here we go, and again, amazing backdrops. Look at those. They look, they look so majestic. I've even started using these backdrops in my thumbnails now to make them look a little prettier. And I'm really glad I did. 
So let's see if we can, uh... If Jake cannot kill this archer, I might just kill with my Pegasus Knight. Sorry, her name is Melinda. So, uh, I've gotten it confirmed from uh, Mr. Green, the creator of this act, that this is mostly a one-man project. Like, he's gotten a little bit of help with the mugs, I think. And the, the portraits, but for the most part, this is like a one, one-man one hack, kind of like um, Order of the Crimson Arm was a one-man hack, which I have an enormous amount of respect for someone who basically creates a hack on their own. That requires some insane dedication. Now granted, we've gotten a lot of extra tools to help us out in the past few years in terms of hacking. Oh nice! Breath of Life! I love it. Haha, <laughs> that's so cool. Oh my god, I love it. So what is it? Do I need to hold it? I hold in this button? No? I don't know what button I hold in to make animations not play, but... I don't know, it seems to happen almost randomly at times. I don't know, I think it's... is it... is it X? Let me just test this out. Is it just on enemy face? I don't know. Yeah, no, it seems whenever I hold on X, that's when animations don't play, so... Ah, okay. So what do we have here? We have a... Okay, this guy has a javelin, so no matter who I attack him with, I'm going to take a counter. Ooh. Does he have more strength than this guy? Nine strength, eight... Eight strength. He does, so he gets the three damage. I think, honestly, Teddy might be my best bet at taking this guy down. But it kind of sucks to not kill him with someone, like, that takes him out immediately, or else I'm gonna take that extra counter. Of course, uh, her hit rate is not... No, sorry, his hit rate is not that great, and I could put Charisma up front. I think I will do that, actually. Yeah, I'll just... I'll just take this hit. 33 isn't that bad. There you go. Hmm. So we'll see now if, uh... If I can take down that Armor Knight without taking a hit back. Kinda feels a little wasteful to do it with my, uh, hard hit. I'll just do it with Leon, I guess. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's okay. This guy's tanky. Besides, this procs is fiery blood, so he gets that four extra damage. So having him run up, run around with uh, not full health is actually optimal. He's kind of like Bernadetta in a way, except that she gets five damage. I guess Bernadetta's just a better version of him. Okay, so can I take out the soldier immediately? Nope. Can't double soldiers. Bad unit. How about Jake? Wow, also bad unit. Man, why everyone's so bad unit? How about... Wow, what the hell? Is this guy made of crack? Seven speed. Okay, I'm not used to soldiers having stats. Let's see, nine damage from this guy and then uh, eight damage from this guy. All right, I guess I'll just chug a hand axe at him then. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I've been playing too much Binding Blade where soldiers are always shit. So I'm not used to this crap. Wait, no, she doesn't have a javelin either. Wow, okay, she doubles with a slim lance, but yeah. Doesn't exactly do much, does it? So what do I do with Donovan here? Do I just... I feel like I need to get rid of this guy, honestly. So I think that's exactly what I'll do. I think, honestly, the slim sword is probably more important to keep alive than the, than the steel sword, so... Mm. I don't know, aren't Slim Swords actually more expensive than Steel Swords? I think they are. I don't know why I bought one, honestly. <laughs> Problem is, I want to use them to, like, not kill stuff, but they also got additional crit on them, so they kind of are... They're a little bit counterintuitive that way. So, what do we have here? Uh, can I kill him if I attack with... I can. That's okay. And honestly, okay, so this is this is where the, the trading really comes in handy, right? So, I attack with Jake here. And then I would like for him to wield a sword, right? In preparation for the upcoming brigade. So I can fly in here, trade his uh, sword around, and then I can attack. And apparently this is no glitch. It's very much intentional, so... Yeah, sure, if the game wants me to take advantage of it, then I am happy to. Oh boy, you better not miss this. Oh fuck, I just realized. Yeah. Reverse mode. <laughs> I almost died there. I gotta remember reverse mode. Oh, there's- that's nice. Breath of Life. Doing work. And this should be- okay, so if I hold in X, will no, okay, so the, well, it won't ca cancel healing animations, even if I hold in X while I heal. It seems to only be on enemy face it happens. So that's interesting. 
Oh, it's a brigand coming. Gotta stop him. Oh, wow. There's multiple brigands coming, actually. Hmm. Look at that breathtaking backdrop. Just look at it. Holy crap. That's so pretty. I can't get over how pretty it is. Okay, now I didn't now I didn't even press X. I swear to god, I didn't I didn't even have my hand on the keyboard. It does seem to happen a little randomly. Bah. Alright, so uh oh, hi. Okay, I had a little bit of... I, I guess it's just really sensitive? I don't know. Anyway, I wonder if Leon can one round these guys now. Yes, he can! Thank you, Fireblood. I mean, I might take 8 damage first, but that's prob... Yes. No problem. No problem at all. Also really loving these new mercenary animations. They look so clean compared to the GBA ones. They're not much difference, but they're really clean. So, uh, if we do this first, we might take a little damage, but it's fine. I do wonder if maybe I made a small mistake going reverse mode. I, I keep thinking to myself, maybe I should just restart and not do reverse mode, because... Yeah... Okay, this is a little bit scary. Not gonna lie. A little bit scary. Also, I kinda wanna do this right now. Uh, there we go. Because uh, Leon's gonna die if I keep this up. So maybe, just maybe. Also, I should probably send Jake up to get this village. Because I feel like if I put it off for too long, bad things are gonna happen. Wow, look at him just fucking one-shotting the sky with the steel. Oh, right. Reverse mode. <laughs> I just realized, you know, playing reverse mode is kind of like every face is enemy face, you know? It's an interesting way of looking at it, but that's that's kind of how it is. Okay, so this guy does 16 damage. He won't kill Teddy. I'm probably going to have to do this. Wait, what? That's definitely not what I wanted to do. I wanted to heal, but okay. Yeah, 4 speed. Am I going to get double now? Not quite. He has 7 speed. Still, though, that was definitely not what I wanted to do. So, I guess I can take, drop, and then go here. Yeah, that was um, certainly interesting. Okay, I gotta stop. I gotta stop holding my hand on the X button. I realize I do this a lot, though. Because I know now, I actually know why I keep my hand on the X button now. Because you usually do that to speed up the movement. So that's a bit of an unfortunate hotkey. Because I tend to hold in X because that makes enemies move faster. I don't know if they still do on this. Uh, maybe they still do? I don't know. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. But I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm going to go visit the uh, village now. And, um, hmm. Yeah, you do have to be pretty fast. There's a bandit here, too. I guess I can uh, go visit the village, equip the sword, and then go on the forests. Aha! You must be part of the Aubrain army. Listen, my name is George, and I'd like to enlist. I've been training for so long, for a long while now, and I want to show everyone how far I've come. I still got quite a ways to go, but I can do it. Let's go. Okay. A villager, you say? Okay. A villager from Aubrain wants to prove his strength. He's Paragon. Huh. Okay. Problem is, he fucking sucks. But... Okay, so I can probably... Okay. <laughs> what if instead of... Uh, okay, I can just take one of them, surely. Two of them is a bit scary, but I can take one. I have a feeling like that villager in particular is going to get screwed over pretty heavily by reverse mode. <laughs> but sure, I mean, the, the guy has paragons. Oh, I didn't even check out his growths. I should probably check out his growths. They're pretty good. 95% HP. 55 powers, 55 skills, 60 speed. That's pretty fucking good. Yeah, this guy is insane. I wonder what villagers promote to. Maybe they get, like, multiple promotions? That's honestly pretty... Oh, that's nice. 
not taking away fiery blood. I like it. Wow, okay. Hmm. I don't know if I like the new mercenary dodge animation. Looks a bit weird. They kind of go like, eh? I don't know. I kind of liked it when they just, like, twitched their body a little bit. Look looked very clunky, but kind of fitting for a mercenary, you know? Anyway, let's uh, go visit the armory. Is there anything we need here? We do have a merchant now, so I guess I'll get another axe. And I get a iron sword for Donovan, I guess. There we go. And I assume that a uh, fire tome... Oh, that's Zelda music, I think. Pretty sure this is from Zelda. I, I recall this, because I'm playing Zelda right now. Uh, what do we do with Donovan, though? Can he canto off to a... Actually, if I can canto off... Okay, we'll see. Ah, thank God you made it here. I'll help keep the town safe. So you focus on routing those bastards. Please take this weapon to help out. Yay, green units. Well, I already have one of those. Oh, that's annoying, actually. I could have... I could have equipped a bow and I'd be able to retaliate on the guy. Alright, let's see how this... I did... What? It's a bit annoying. Oh, hi. Hmm. I'll make you regret ever challenging us. Yeah, no, I think it's you who'll regret challenging us, mate. Is he gonna double? No. Okay, if I could set up a kill for my villager, that should probably be like a full level's worth or something. Okay, we have one village left to visit. We can probably kill the boss on the next turn. Donovan's insane. I wonder how much uh, experience Donovan gets for getting a boss kill. It might be worth it to feed him the boss. Alright. Uh, okay, let's try, shall we? Yeah, I like, the, I like the idea of this. I might just try and keep the boss alive one more turn, because uh, I wouldn't mind feeding both of these kills to my villagers. Or my villager, I mean. Alright, George. You might take a hit here, but it's... Oh, right, of course these animations are off. I've set them to custom, that's why. Yeah, that's almost a full level, that's pretty good. That is pretty fucking good. I like it. So, uh, yeah, the the other brigand should go for him, and that should be a lot of experience for him. Chip experience and then a kill. Should easily get him past to the next level and maybe halfway into it. The death of Prince Travis was such a tragedy, yes. Then it was just one hardship after the next. Please save our duchy. I found this gem you can use. I hope it helps. Thanks. Red gem. Woo. Okay. Um, yeah, you know what? I'll just shoot this guy down with a bow. Mm. OP. People say that the G in Donovan's Paladin class name stands for Gangsta Paladin, which I really like. He totally a gangsta. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone gangsta till the Donovan starts shooting. Alright, maybe we can give this guy a little bit of a charisma buff too. That'd be nice. Can we visit this house? No. I don't like houses that can't be visited. Never, there was never a big fan of that. Alright, I should be able to kill him pretty easily next turn. And here we go! So these villager uh, animations are really slick. Uh, we used them in the Blinding Bolt as well. They're amazing. Alright, let's see what his first level turns out to be. Pretty good! Pretty good. He might even get another level out of this. Alright, good job, Donovan. And then let's get a little bit of experience on our healer, too, before we end this map. There we go. One thing is for sure, with reverse mode, the healer's always gonna have something to heal. Also, I got a hit there. What the hell? Come on, no, okay. Not quite, but almost. Alright, I don't see why we shouldn't just merc the boss then. Alright, gonna have to use a... Uh, can we get him a... <laughs> I don't think we can get him a, a less expensive lance, but it's okay, it's a boss. We can use a silver lance here. Oh. Oh, that looks amazing. Erg blasts. Well, that wasn't exactly a lot of experience for Donovan, but I'll take it. Alright, I'll just ask you this once. 
Who is the one you answer to? Uh, alright. His name is Mitch. However, he goes by the title of the Bandit King. Bandit King? Where is he? He's in some fort no somewhere north of here. He gives the order to all of us. Have you had the opportunity to meet him one-on-one? -on -one? Yeah. He's a pretty seasoned fighter. Some say he's former military. You will need to be strong to defeat him, alright? Thank you for your cooperation, sir. You're free to go, as long as you give up this band- Oh wow, you're dumb, girl. Th thank you, ma'am. Milady, don't you know how risky that was? What if he'd attacked you? He was defeated, Donovan. And I had him searched before interrogating him. Just in case he had a knife or some other hidden weapon. It may have went well this time, but please be more careful the next time. We can't lose you. I'll be sure to watch my back. Thank you for your concern, Donovan. It's only my duty, milady. Anyways, we should get going. It'll be dark before long. Agreed. I'm a bit tuckered out myself. I could use the rests. Adrian, I'd like to thank you again for your help. It's no problem, Penny. I'd like to stick around if it's alright. It's the least I can do. I'd be more than glad to keep you around, Penny. Welcome to the team, Penny. It'll, it'll be my honor, Adrian. Hello, sir. I saw you on the field during the battle. Are you alright? Oh, yeah. Uh, the name's George. Is it alright if I come along? I mean, sure. But you seem a bit in inexperienced. Forgive my rudeness. Are you sure you want to come along? It's not getting any easier. I want to get stronger for those I love. I'm ready to face whatever challenges await for me. I need to do this. I understand, George. Please be careful. Thank you, ma'am. I won't let you down, I swear. Ooh, what's going on here? Mitch. Hmm. Interesting portraits. How fierce the situation in Aubrey? It's going fine, General Alexander. My men are keeping Aubrey suppressed as well as ever. Good. However, I'd keep your wits about you. Oh? I've heard that a group of Aubrey soldiers are fighting back. Apparently their princess, Adrian, is leading them. Damn. How far have they made it? Not far, fortunately. Their next major destination will likely be the city of Flame Wisp. Fortunately, we have men stationed there, so you don't need to worry about that. May I ask how many men you have to spare? I have access to a large branch of Imperial soldiers. I'd assume you desire men to help defend the keep? Clever man, ain't ya? I've enjoyed our alliance, General. May it continue for years to come. Same to you too, Mitch. Auburn will be ours. Mmm. Who would have thought that the evil empire was evil? Ho <laughs> ho. Plot twists. Yeah, so, I don't know. The, this hack continues to just be really nice, clean, and simple. I'm sort of getting the same vibe as from Order of the Crimson Army. It isn't... It doesn't blow the roof off the house, you know? It's like, wow! Like, this hack has so much cool shit going on. It's so spectacular and just, like, wow! Innovative game designer. And it's just a very classic Fire Emblem hack, and I actually am completely fine with that. And it does some really cool things, like the war room, the skills are all good, M map design is really slick, like, yeah, this is just a very standard, traditional, elegant, and nice Fire Emblem hack. I really have nothing bad to say about it so far, and I'm looking forward to the next chapter, so yeah, see you guys tomorrow. As always, wash your hands, drink some water, avoid large crowds, and we'll get through this. Bye-bye. I need to click the end screen. There we go.